right over here on this thistle flower, we've got a monarch butterfly. Oh, there he goes. See if he comes back around. Monarchs travel all the way from Mexico up into Canada um, on a migration uh, from the north to the south and the south to the north every single year. And the thing that monarchs need to survive is something called the milkweed plant. right here are called milkweed and this particular plant is really really critical for monarch butterflies. Now they start their life down in Mexico and they fly all the way north to Canada and along the way they need this particular plant, milkweed. They lay their eggs on the milkweed and the caterpillars when they hatch eat the milkweed and the milkweed itself is toxic but not to the caterpillars. The caterpillars actually have this really amazing ability to use the toxins inside the milkweed to make themselves poisonous to other predators. So a lot of birds and a lot of other organisms that might eat a caterpillar don't eat the monarch caterpillar because they know that it's toxic. Now you might ask yourself, why is it called milkweed? On the inside of the leaves and the stem of this plant is a white, milky substance. So when you break the leaf, it actually looks like it's oozing out milk. Let's take a look. Now here's the leaf to the milk plant. Now watch what happens when I just pinch the tip of it right here. We see that white sap begin to ooze out of the vein. And that right there is what those caterpillars are after. They like to drink this. Now it is toxic, not to the point where it would be dangerous for you, it, it, to, it wouldn't kill you, but it'd probably leave a pretty bad taste in your mouth. You don't want that. Neither does a bird or a raccoon that sees a baby monarch, the monarch caterpillar. So they leave them alone. Pretty neat stuff here. <laughs> 